In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get over 1300 followers and over 80,000 views on TikTok in less than one week. Hello there and welcome to this video. My name is Ari Omland from affiliateari.com. My goal is to help you make more money and help more people with your online business. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also put on bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my future content. So in this video, I'm going to show you a brilliant way that you can reach more people and it is by using TikTok. I started my TikTok account 10 days ago today and uh, I used to think that it was just for kids and that it couldn't really help my business. But after just one week, I got over 1300 followers and over 80,000 views. And also I got 100 new subscribers, over 100 new subscribers on this channel. So TikTok is no joke. And by the way, welcome to the new TikTok subscribers, the TikTok gang. If you have uh, come here to my channel or to this video because of TikTok, Make sure to leave a comment down below, just say TikTok or something like that. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you how you can do this as well. But first, we are going to look at some proof. Okay, so first of all, here we are at my TikTok account. And of course, it's in Norwegian because uh, your TikTok videos are pushed to the audience that is close to you at first or the people that are close to you at first. And if the video goes viral, then it's gonna keep spreading it to other places. But I had to do this in Norwegian and that is fine. And you can see right now I have 1,409 followers and my videos have started really good. 60,000 60, views on the first video. Then it's kind of slowed down a bit. Let's just look at some uh, analytics to see the views as well. So you can see almost 100,000 views in the last seven days. So that's pretty good. Now we can take a look at the uh, YouTube analytics. You can see that this Monday 16th November is when I started posting on TikTok and then on uh, this Thursday is when I had my first viral video, the one with 60,000 views. And by the way, I did delete a few videos, some of the first ones that I made on TikTok. But here you can see it really 392 views in one day. I really got a huge uh, boost from TikTok and for the subscribers as well. You can see very steady. Just getting a few subscribers, losing some, getting some. But then 19th, 22 new subscribers, 35, 17, 30. And then it's kind of slowed down a bit. So before I show you the exact strategies for how I did this, we need to understand what TikTok's goal is. So what does TikTok want? TikTok wants people to spend time on their platform. That is their goal. And so they are going to push videos that keeps people engaged and keeps them watching. So if you look at uh, the analytics of my, uh, my video that did very well, you can see that it's a 40 second long video. The average watch time is 20 seconds. So the average person uh, has watched half of this video. So when TikTok sees this, that this video has such a good average watch time, then they are going to think that this is a video that keeps people on our platform. This is a video that gets people to spend more time on TikTok. And so we need to push this video to more people. That is how you get more and more views. So then the question is, how can we get higher watch time? So in order to get higher watch time, there are four rules you should follow. So rule number one is that your videos or your TikToks or whatever they're called, they need to have a clear hook, story 
and an offer or I would say call to action. So in the first few seconds of your video, you must have a very clear hook because people are scrolling through TikTok, they're watching a bunch of videos. And so you need to make sure that you are stopping them and that you get them to watch your video instead. What can you say in the first few seconds that gets people to stop scrolling and watch your video? So for the video that did pretty well for me, the first thing that I say is in Norwegian, of course, I think it was, I'm gonna show you the best legal way to make money online. You don't need to have your own product, you don't need to have a website and you don't need to have any money. So that is a very clear hook and uh, the goal of the hook is to make people curious about what is this guy talking about. Have a clear hook in the first few seconds that captures people. And then you want to have the story, so you want to give people an explanation or an answer to the hook. But make sure you're not giving away too much, just give them a, a short explanation of the main points. Of course you can only have one minute videos, so it's very kind of restricted what, what you can say in a, in a minute, but give them an explanation. Don't give away everything because you want to give them just enough to where they're like, okay, this makes sense. I want to learn more. And then you lead them on to the call to action. So this could be, for instance, for me, I usually say, if you want to learn more about this, you should follow me on TikTok and check out my YouTube channel, Philit Aura. And if there is a video that is very related to the TikTok, then I will also say, and check out this video. And then I just record the, my Mac screen with the video on my YouTube channel. So have a clear hook, story, and call to action. That's rule number one. And rule number two is that you should not have your clips longer than five seconds max. So even if you could record your whole video on just one, one clip, one take, just 60 seconds with the same angle. You should not do that because people have very, very short attention span nowadays. Of course, we all know this. And so you need to keep people engaged. You need to have quick changes, change the scene up a bit. Even if you just change the angle and go from blah, 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 blah three seconds of this to blah, 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 blah three seconds of this. That's much better than just having the same angle all the time. So switch up the angle and uh, keep people engaged no longer than five seconds per clip. And then rule number three is to use viral songs. So if you go to TikTok, you post a new video and you add a song, then make sure you go in the TikTok viral playlist and find a song from that playlist because videos that are using these songs tend to do a lot better. So I don't know what more to say about this. Just use viral songs. And then rule number four is to use smaller hashtags. So this doesn't really have anything to do with watch time, but it's still quite important. And I see a lot of people making these mistakes, both on TikTok, but also on Instagram and YouTube, that new small accounts try to rank for big competitive hashtags and keywords and it's really a waste because there is so much competition in these hashtags and keywords so it's really really hard to rank for these so hashtags are not as important as watch time but if you're going to use hashtags make sure that you use the smaller ones so if you are a brand new account on TikTok I'd recommend that you go for hashtags that have less than 250,000 views and then as you grow your account bigger then you can start going for the bigger hashtags. So those are the four rules you need to follow. If you follow these and you post videos regularly, consistently, then I can pretty much guarantee that you're going to see results. So post videos every single day if you can and uh, see which videos are doing the best and try to figure out why are these videos doing so good. So not every video is going to go viral, that's just how it is, but just Keep on trying and keep posting new videos. So if you're interested in learning more about this and also how you can come up with a bunch of new video ideas, then I recommend that you go to the link down in the description box that says tiktok.affiliatera.com. That link is gonna take you to a page where I give you a new link to 
a course where you can learn more about this. So it's a course on how to use TikTok to grow your online business, get more leads and get more sales. And the course costs a whopping $1. So I can say for me, it's definitely been worth it. And uh, so if you're interested in that, just go to the link down below. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got some value from it, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. If you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, I do appreciate a subscribe as well. And uh, that is gonna be it. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.